I am Kimmy with On William Street, and I am notorious for coming up with projects that I need for Christmas at the very last minute. So, in true Kimmy fashion, um, this week we have designed and created these adorable quilted stockings for you to make so that you can have a whole fresh new mantle just in time for the holidays. When we were trying to decide what kind of different projects that we wanted to do and wanted to add, um, I decided I needed new stockings. Why do I need new stockings? Because you can never use enough have enough stockings, right? There's always a new room in the house you can hang stockings for. Also, I wanted to really use the quilting aspect. We thought there's a lot of different kinds of quilting stockings, quilted stockings out there, and I absolutely love them, and they are so adorable. But what if we eliminated the piecing and just made quilted stockings, did a whole cloth stocking, and I loved this idea. And so what I've done is I went ahead and I actually created three different um, whole cloth stocking patterns for quilting. And I'm gonna go ahead and share all three of these with you. There's three different designs that you can use and they all um, have a different main picture and then they have the same kind of background elements that are mixed up a little bit. So I'm gonna show those to you here in just a minute. And you'll notice I kind of went with a more of a non-traditional Christmas palette. Um, my dream is to one day have a modern farmhouse. We are working very hard on that dream. So I need something that's going to blend perfectly with that. So it's kind of a fun, modern take on our Christmas stocking. So the three different designs that I came up with are we have a snowflake, we have the ornaments that I showed you, and then I also have a third one with the Christmas tree. So let's go ahead and talk about the supplies that you're gonna to need to make this project. First thing you're gonna need is obviously the pattern. And so what you can do is if you go online to our subscriber library, you can download the pattern. I have all of these already drawn out for you and you can just simply trace and copy over the, the quilting pattern and the quilting design that I have here. And each stocking is going to consist of three different pages that you'll then want to tape together. And so you'll have your full pattern ready to go. So after you have your pattern, you're also going to need fabric. And so the fabric for this project, we're going to need three different fabrics. First, we're going to need the outside fabric. And I did go ahead and I chose just solid fabrics for the outside. I really want the quilting to kind of shine and be the star. I don't want a print or anything competing with that. Then we're going to need the lining fabric. And this is what's going to go inside your stocking. Because I had a solid outside, I did kind of splurge and went with a fun print for our inside stocking fabric. You're also going to need your backing fabric. And this is going to be the backing to the quilted portions of your stocking. This does not matter what it is, you're not gonna see it. It's gonna be completely encased inside. So scrap fabric that you have hanging around, a muslin, something like that would work perfect for this. Um, last, you're also going to need some batting. Now each one of these, you're going to need about a third of a yard. That's gonna give you enough to go ahead and get um, both of your stocking shapes on there. You might also be able to squeeze a third um, or possibly a fourth on that third, but you're gonna need at least the 12 inches wide. So. Go through your scrap bin, see what solids you have, or um, if you don't have any solids that you love, you know, go ahead and run to the, the quilt store, the fabric store, and grab a 30 yard of two fabrics that matter, the inside and the outside, and then like I said, just the scrap fabric for the lining. This is a fantastic project to use of all those batting scraps from when you finish your quilts and you cut off that extra batting. This is gonna be the perfect project for those. Along with the fabric, you're gonna need, of course, the pattern. So what I've done is I do have the three different patterns you can print out and you can copy them exactly from top to bottom. Or you can go ahead and take the main element and fill in the background however you want. Or I also have some blank stockings that you can use if you want to completely design your uh, stocking from scratch. So you can go ahead and print out the main stocking, um, tape it together, design, figure out how you want it to look. I went ahead and did it here first though because it's going to be a lot easier A for me to replicate. That way I need six stockings so I'm going to do two of each one for our family. Um, and they're gonna all you know match and look the same and not have to start over from scratch on each one Also, um, it's gonna help me to you know get things marked and when I get to sewing It's gonna be super easy because everything's marked out So with that of course, we're also gonna need some marking pens I went ahead and chose pens this time as opposed to markers mostly because they come in different colors Oops. So I have my white one for my darker fabrics my darker ones for my lighter fabrics There's something that shows up on all of them This would also work if you have like a fine line chalk marker or something Just be careful not to rub off those lines as you're quilting. There's a lot of movement going around here um, The last next thing you're gonna need is your free motion quilting foot if you're doing this on your domestic machine uh, Your free motion foot you want to make sure to load that on if you're doing it on a long arm I will tell you what I did and recommend is I loaded the back as one big piece I found like a yard of a backing fabric that I could use and then I just placed the the stockings on top to quilt them out. I made it super quick and super easy. 
Um, since I'm gonna do it on my domestic here to show you guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually gonna use my ruler foot. This is gonna allow me to get all those straight lines without having to move it around so much. If you don't have a ruler foot though, you could definitely put those uh, straight lines in place before with just your regular sewing machine foot if you wanted to, because it's a small piece, it's easy to kind of spin it around as needed to get those straight lines in place if you wanna put them in before you go in and fill in the free motion quilting part. After you have your fabric picked out, you need to go ahead and transfer the pattern to the fabric. And like I said, I went ahead and pretty much traced most of it. These areas that are empty are where I'm gonna be putting the fills, the um, pebbles and the ribbon candy. So I didn't worry about drying them out because they're gonna just be free motion. Um, what I used to do this was I put, went ahead and I actually taped it to my window. I have a big um, sliding glass window and it worked really well. So I just taped the pattern up, taped the fabric on top of it, and then took my marking pen and my ruler and was able to trace over the lines and get the pattern transferred. If you have a nice big um, light table, that would work really well as well. So you could use either one of those kind of methods to get your pattern to your stocking. The other thing you need is you are gonna need two of them. You're gonna need your front and your back. For the back, make sure that you trace it on in reverse. You don't want your stockings going the same direction or else they're not going to sew together correctly. On the back, I didn't mark out the quilting design. If you wanted it to be super, super fancy, you absolutely could repeat the quilting design on the back. But I went ahead and I just sewed horizontal lines because you're not gonna really see it, it holds it in place and I've just got my horizontal lines up the back. So it keeps things easier and is gonna make the project get done quicker than if I was to quilt both of them. But totally your choice, however you want to do it. So after you have the design traced on, we will be making our quilt sandwich. Okay, so to make the quilt sandwich, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and lay out my backing fabric. Like I said, this is the one that you're not going to see at all. So if it's a scrap piece of something that you've had before that you don't know what you're gonna use on again, this is a great project for it. Then you're going to layer your batting on top. If I'm doing this on my domestic, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and probably cut them out and do them as smaller pieces. I'm not gonna to try to maneuver three or four um, stockings at the same time, there's no need for it. But like I said, if I'm doing it on my long arm, I'm gonna load one big backing, use a long strip of batting, put as many as I can on there, roll it, do another strip of batting, put the next ones on top. And then we're going to put the stocking, of course, on the top. And as you can see here, what I've done is I've actually gone ahead and I've rough cut it out. I left a quite a big area around. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna give me somewhere to go ahead and baste. I'm gonna, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and just sew about a quarter to a half an inch all the way around the outside of the stocking. And that's just going to hold everything in place so that as I am quilting the inside, it's not gonna shift and move around on me. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pull my bobbin thread up to the top and that's gonna allow me to kind of hang on to them and um, anchor them in place. Then I'm going to just go ahead and move over kind of close. And this one is really more of a basting stitch. So you don't have to worry too much about your stitch length or what's going on. And I am simply going to sew all the way around the outside of the stocking. I'm just doing about a quarter to a half of an inch. It's not perfect, it's just basting it in place. You could also use um, some spray basing or a few pins if you wanted to hold this in place while you're doing this first initial section. Just to make sure things don't shift around on you if you're more comfortable with that. All right, so now it is all done. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna get that snowflake in there. So that's where I'm gonna go ahead and grab my ruler and I'm gonna go ahead and just work on the lines around it. Keep in mind, so you just want to go out past the um, the edge of your stocking because we're going to cut the seam a little bit bigger. You're basically going to be sewing on that that stocking line. 
So everything needs to go extend out past it just a little bit as you're putting these designs in place. And that will make sure that they uh, don't get cut off or don't have any empty spots on the edge of your thing. Because I'm using my ruler and moving around a lot, I'm just gonna take it nice and slow. And I just wanna show you some of these spots like this. What you can do is I'm gonna come up here to the end. I'm actually going to go ahead and fill in this little spot here um, before I move on. That's going to have the least amount of tracing back over the same spot. Now that that's filled in, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the snowflake and keep going. Then I'm just going to slowly work my way all the way around the design. Okay, now that we have it all done and we have magically changed colors of our stockings, we're ready to go ahead and assemble them. So we have our two front and back. Like so on the back, I just went ahead and did the straight lines across. The front is all done. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and cut it out about a fourth of an inch outside of your marked line. There is not a seam allowance included on the pattern, so make sure that you cut it out just outside of your marked line. You're also going to want to go ahead at this point and grab your lining fabric. So you're going to want to cut two the same thing opposite directions um, out of the lining fabric that you have chosen. The last little piece that you're going to need is this hanging strap. And this we're doing out of, the, I used to went ahead and chose to do the lining fabric. You could do the same fabric that's on the stocking and do it to match. You can do a little bit different, just however you want. And this is gonna be a two by seven inch strip to make the strap to hang up our stocking. So what we're gonna do, the first thing is if you um, make sure that they're pretty much the same size. Uh, because I trimmed it by hand, um, your stocking might be slightly different. So if you look here, I'm super big here. So I'm gonna go ahead and first, I'm gonna go ahead and trim off this little bit of extra off the um, lining fabric since how this kind of got sucked in a little bit when you're quilting it. And then we will sew them together. Okay, so everything is trimmed down um, so it's the same size now. So we have our two pieces ready to go, but before we can sew these together, we do need to make our little hangy strap because we want this to go inside the seam there. So what I'm gonna do is I've got my two by seven piece and I'm gonna just fold it in half. If you do have a print, make sure that it's right sides together. And I'm just gonna sew a quarter inch seam down that side and then flip it inside out and iron it so that the seam is in the back. Now I have my nice little finished tube ready to go. So it's going to go on the back. So you're just gonna fold it in half and you're gonna put it in about an inch in from your line. Line it up across the top. Go ahead and put the top um, line, the lining up across the top as well. And then I'm just gonna stick a pin there and that's gonna hold it in place as I sew these next couple of seams. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and sew just across the top of each one of these. So I'm gonna put right sides together and then put a quarter of an inch seam across the top of both the front and the back.
So now that um, they're sewn, I'm gonna go ahead and iron them, but I wanna make sure that I iron the seam pointing towards the lining, and that's gonna kinda help everything fold in when we put the lining inside of the stocking. Now that those are ironed, we're going to go ahead and lay it out, and we're going to put the two stocking pieces on top of each other, and then we're gonna put the two lining pieces on top of each other. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I put a couple pins here, because I really want these pieces to line up correctly where the stocking and the lining come together. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one pin on either side of that seam to hold that in place. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so starting now in the lining fabric, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you start in the lining fabric so that we can hide the seam easily later. We're just going to sew all the way around the whole thing, leaving about a three to four inch hole in the bottom of the stocking. So I'm gonna to start towards the heel. And then just sew that same quarter inch seam all the way around, making sure to back stitch um, at the beginning and the end. Now that I'm done sewing, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trim all of my seams to be about a quarter of an inch. So if there are some that aren't quite exactly even and they didn't line up quite right, now is gonna be a time to go ahead and trim all that back so that you've got everything right about a quarter of an inch all the way around. Now that everything is trimmed, we're ready to go ahead and flip it. And you're just gonna reach your hand up inside the hole that we left, all the way to the opposite side. And I'm just gonna grab the other toe and pull it back through the hole. And that's gonna flip your whole thing right side out. Then before we go ahead and do anything to that seam, we are going to make sure that everything's pushed out nice and flat. We will give it a nice iron um, as well after we get it all um, turned. So I'm gonna make sure the stocking is turned and come down and make sure that the lining is turned. So now I do have a hole here, and I'm just gonna take that over to the sewing machine, and I'm just gonna stitch it closed. I'm not gonna so worry about hand sewing or hiding it, it's just gonna get stitched closed. It's gonna be hiding the bottom of the stocking, you're never gonna see it. After that final seam is stitched, you'll wanna go ahead and give everything a nice press with the iron, and then you can stick that lining inside of your stocking, and you are done. You might need to go ahead and take one more iron around the top too if it's not quite laying flat to get that to lay. But other than that, it is ready to go. Hang it up, fill it with goodies, and enjoy for the rest of the holiday season. So you can get the stocking pattern and the quilting diagrams in our subscriber library. If you head to our website and sign up for our emails, um, you will get instant access to that subscriber library and all the projects that are in there. Please subscribe to our YouTube videos so that you don't miss anything in the future. Hit like if you liked what you saw. And again, follow us on Instagram and Facebook where we post all sorts of fun things and we will see you next time. Bye.